Not everyone can afford the likes of R9, Ronaldo, Kylian Mbappe and Rude Hoodit. So in today's video, I'll be building the best possible team, but every player is underrated. With any team, you need a strong and solid centre midfielder. And I think I found the perfect one and I never see him in ultimate team. Never. And that player is M. Ray Chan. He can also play centre back. I wouldn't advise it. He's here to play centre mid in game. But the defensive midfielder, he's six foot one, medium high work rates, four star weak foot. His stats are really good as well for how much he actually costs. And we'll get to that in just a second. His pace fit is interesting, but he's, honestly, his defending is top notch. He has good passing in his physical. It's just, I mean, just look at his physical. It's uh, very good. Play styles are important this year. And he has ping pass and he also has long ball pass, intercept, slide tackle, bruiser, press proven, and aerial. He has everything. And guess what? He only costs 60,000 coins. And that is the first player in the team. When it comes to the goalkeeper, I just think it's personal preference. For example, last year, I thought Van der Sar was the best keeper on the game. However, this year, he's just not the same player anymore. And Peter Schmeichel is my favourite, he's the most consistent. But none of those are underrated because they're top-end keepers and they always are the ones that you see in the game. It was hard for me to find an underrated goalkeeper. However, Jersey Dudek, the brand new one, the 88 UEFA hero card, is an absolute bargain for 37,000 coins. He's also a hero, so he links up to any Polish players. So if you have a Lewandowski in your team, but most importantly, importantly Premier League players which is a massive help because we actually have some Premier League players in the team so Jersey Dudek welcome to the squad now when it comes to the right backs I just don't think there's a lot of selection you've got Carlos Alberto you've got Cancelo uh, you've got Klaus you have Alex Scott and then you come to the second page you've probably got a few more and then after that they're just not very good. So when I saw how cheap Jonathan Klaus was as a right back, I couldn't believe my eyes. 20,000 coins for Jonathan Klaus. Let me just walk through his stats. He's 5 foot 10 with high, high work rates, 3 star, 3 star. He can play right mid, which, you know, some people might want to play right mid and then switch him as a right back in game. I don't know. But for 20,000 coins, his stats are pretty decent. He's got the pace, he has the agility, plus obviously his height, so he feels agile in game. His defending is okay, and he has 97 stamina. And also whipped pass, which is very good. If you get down the line, you get some crosses in. He'll be even better because of the play style. Anticipate is good on the defense side of things long throw i mean it's a bit pointless i'm not gonna lie but relentless relentless with that stamina he can run through the whole of extra time and penalties and also play another game and he will not be tired and for twenty thousand coins i think is an absolute bargain now when it comes to the left back i am very picky there's only about two or three i like and then my main favorite left back and the best left back on the game is thunderstruck alfonso davis my left back is overlapping so they're in the attacking third more so than the right back which would be jonathan klaus and i think the base hero lizarazu is underrated i don't really see him too often i see mendy Theo Hernandez, just not Lizarazu. My high work rate and he's five foot seven, which means he'll be able to turn in game, and that's what I like. Three star, three star. It would be more of a preference if he had four star skill moves, but it's not the end of the world. Got really good pace. The agility isn't the best in the dribbling, but because he's small, it kind of counteracts it. However, his defending is very well rounded. He has 89 stamina with good aggression, but it's the play styles that make him good. Long ball pass. So if I see an over the top free ball, he can ping one over. Another width pass. So Jonathan Klaus and Lizarazu on the full back positions can get those crosses in. Offensive though, he has block anticipate and slide tackle plus which if you do slide he'll basically retain the ball just more or less every time he slides and then he obviously has acrobatic which is pointless and quick step step over straight which i like to do with my full backs alfonso is the best however lizarazu has quick step so for 80,000 coins i don't think you'll find much better there are loads of center backs on the game and as we all know virgil van dijk is the best if you don't agree with that i'm not really sure what to tell you so when it comes to underrated center backs i'm trying to look for a card that's really good stats wise but probably just doesn't get the recognition because of maybe how much they cost the league they're in or just don't know people don't know they're good in game i think i found the perfect Perfect too, and they cost under 50,000 coins combined. The beauty of this card is that he's a live card. He's attached to Anders in the pro tournament, who's probably one of the favorites to probably go later on into the tournament stages or even win it. So if that's the case, he's going to get even more boost. He also costs 25,000 coins, which is very, very cheap. And you're getting yourself a very top end center back. He's six foot two with medium, medium work rates, 81 acceleration, 86 sprint speed is top end for a center back. His agility and dribbling is quite good. Again, for a defender, 87 reactions. Defending is far defensive awareness. It's top end. Obviously you can put a shadow on or whatever you want. 97 jumping with 90 strength and 87 aggression. He has jockey, you block, intercept and slide tackle. And again, for 25,000 coins, he's in the Bundesliga. He's also French and he's also a live card i never see him in weekend league so for that reason he's underrated one more player to finish off the defense and i don't think you can argue with the next one and i just can't understand how he's so cheap like genuinely he is crazy cheap anyone can afford him lucas klosterman it's not his gold rare 
is his Thunderstruck card. 87 rated. He's about 15 to 17,000 coins on the market. 85 acceleration with 86 sprint. So he's quicker than Simicun. Similar agility and dribbling to Simicun. 93 reactions. Top end defending. 97 jumping with 85 strength. And I mean, just look at the play styles that he has. I just don't understand why I don't see this card more often. Klosterman helps out with chemistry to uh, Emre Chan. And I just love this card. And he's so cheap. And he's also underrated. Five more positions to go. And one of our attackers is an icon. So uh, we'll get to that very shortly. Next to Ray Chan in midfield, I need someone who is agile and who's good on the ball. Bruno Fernandes, I think, can do that job. Just over 100,000 coins. He has high, high work rates with four-star skill moves, three-star weak foot, but I'm not too fussed about that. But his stats are what I want, okay? Now, he has a good finishing and then has the shot power. His passing is obviously top, uh, top tier. His ball control, dribbling in general will be nice. Not, I didn't even realize he has 99 stamina. But the one thing that kind of grabbed me is the incisive pass plus. So basically, if you do through balls, they're just basically going to go to your player nine times out of 10 compared to if the one doesn't have this same thing with ping pass and the same thing with one ball pass this is really good this is over the top through ball so our one triangle he's just going to be the one triggering the runs and playing the ball over the top he has flair but first touch is important and Trevella is also good but this is only for passing if i'm not mistaken so yeah really good card very agile it will give me a good balance in midfield Ninety-eight thousand coins what a snipe that was we'll take that thank you the last player in midfield i think is severely underrated i remember when this promo was out i was packing him left right and center and until i played with him, I didn't realise how good he was. And that's Bernardo Silva, the Thunderstruck Pro. I think he's about 80,000 coins on the market, but I have a loan card, so I'll be using that one. Thank you. High, high work rates, four-star skill moves. He's right centre mid in 4-3-2-1. That's what I use. It's not necessarily about the stats, but the one thing that I love about this card is his dribbling, but he also has technical plus, and I love R1 dribbling with him, so just very nimble with the R1 dribbling in and out, and trust me, he creates so much space. And he also has passing stats that I didn't even realise, Tiki Taka. He also has Relentless as well, so he's not going to tire. He has technical plus, and for around about 80,000 coins. I'm surprised I don't see him as much as I do in Ultimate Team. So Bruno, Emre Chan, and Bernardo Silva is my middle three. Three more to go. And honestly, this right winger that I'm about to show you is probably the most underrated out of the whole 11. Triple threat promo and 270,000 coins. Cascarino is, for me, the most underrated player in this team. Let me explain why. Five foot five, four star skill moves. Forget the weak foot. It's not important because she's playing on the right hand side as a right forward, okay? Absolutely rapid. Can absolutely turn defenders inside and out. Now, if Finishing isn't the best in terms of stats, so I definitely recommend putting maybe a finisher or a marksman on that. But the main reason I love her, she's quick and she is super agile with a mixture of technical and also quick set plus, which Kylian Mbappe has. I've used her in a weekend league before and I was just blown away by how agile and quick she was. She has to be in the team. It's a no-brainer. Cascarino, welcome. My striker is going to be the Europa League Roto Knockouts Joao Pedro. Now, you're probably thinking, well, he's not underrated. What are you on about? The main reason I think he's underrated is because of this page and I just don't think he gets the respect that he deserves. He just has rapid that's it. No technical, no quick step, no nothing. I can understand he's cheap because of the play styles. So that's why I think he's underrated. You tell me the last time you played Weekend League and you saw him more than one time in 20 games. You're lying if you did because you never see him. So I'm going to buy him with a Hunter. 384,000 coins. And that leaves us one player to go. And I did tell you, it was an icon. There are quite a lot of left wingers on the game. You've got Ronaldinho, Mbappe, Vinicius. I mean, Pal Palafucha was on the shortlist to uh, come into the team. So if you're thinking of getting Palafucha, I like him a lot. There's quite a lot. They've got Rafael Liao, you've got Rashford. The list goes on, even Son for the finesse shots. But it's none of those. It's a brand new icon that got released this year on FC24. And that is Frank Ribery. And I'm going to buy him because that's an absolute sniper. 860,000 coins. Let me explain why I think he's underrated. He's 5'7 with 5 star, 5 star, which is perfect for me as a winger because I like my small agile five star skill wingers quick agile as i said dribbling finishing is pretty decent as well but the play styles are good he has incisive pass he has dead ball this is the most underrated play style forget about player if you have it in plus dead ball is so good from free kicks technical plus which is what bernardo silva has flair trevetta and also quick step so there are a few reasons why i think he's underrated i never see him as i do with all of these players i never really see these in weekend league second of all when people are talking about players and teams in my twitch chat no one talks about frank ribery there's always hansen there's always rafael alvin just junior. Ribery never gets mentioned. And thirdly, 860,000 coins is a decent amount of money. But he has five star, five star. He's small, he's agile, and he's an icon, which he means links up to everyone and helps out with chemistry. So that's a bonus. I'm going to take this team into foot champs now, test them out, and show you how good they actually are. First game, who's he got then? Who's he got? Uh, do you know what? Vardy Al is actually going to be in this team as underrated. Harden's terrible. Get him out of my team. Get him out of your team. Rank, here you go. Show him what you got, mate. Technical plus, here he is. Oh my god. There we go. 149 on the clock. Technical plus in show. Great finish. Come on, Frank. That's what I like to see. Ah, oh, tackle. Come on, can we get a counter? 
There we go. Frank, double brace. Let's go. Yeah, I was playing the wrong formation. Let go, let go, let go. Vardial again. Van Dyke, of course. Oh, oh, oh. Come on, let's go. Edge of the box. Who's there? Silver. Let's go. <laughs> Two shot cancels. Even I didn't know what I was doing. Oh, my God. Ball. Please score. That's Bruno. That's the long ball pass. I told you. It's about the play styles. Look at that. Van Dyke was in no man's land. Gomorin, Cassias, Mbappe, just in Clivert. Poor defending. Fair play. I am 2-0 uh, down. Uh, what's going on? I just out of nowhere. He just blitzed me. He has whipped cross. Oh, that's lovely. Do a switch it up. Nice. Nice. Oh, nice, Bernardo. Yep. What a counter attack. Bernardo, please. Please, Bernardo. He's the, he's the star in this game, isn't he? My God. Then in. Honestly, like, this Bernardo's carrying. I love him. That's the one, Pedro. You've been absolutely awful all game, but we take the goal. GG's. Welcome back. We take those. Go on then. Yashin. Not my... Ooh. Not the best keeper. That's... How many icons does he want? Lovely. Fantastic. That pose. That is... Take a little touch. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have taken a touch. That was close. I thought the keeper was going to grab it. That was a decent little bit of play. One more. No! Oh, we scored! See, even Frank Ribery can score first time shots. I genuinely thought I missed. Go on, win the header. Go on. All right, do you know where that all came from? A little bit of luck. Bruno Fernandez is playstyle plus. No, it's not playstyle plus. Playstyle. Long ball pass. Come on. Cascarino. I don't know what he's doing with the keeper. We'll take it. 4 0. Go on, Pedro. I'm going to trust you, mate. I'm going to trust you. See? Oh, he's paused it. Thank you very much. All right, let's see if we're getting rewards. I mean, it's ranked two, so it's going to be terrible, but you never know. Oh, we got an ambassador pack. I didn't even know I had this. Who are we going to get? Spanish. Striker. Why could it have not been Dutch centre-back Van Dijk, you know? But I'm going to play his pack. Anything special inside? Germany. Left back. German left back for Bayern München. Simon. I was going to put Zico in the team, but I think people were like, well, he's a 3 million coin icon. I think Zico is underrated. I think he's unbelievable. Luke Shaw is my best player. Brilliant. 